What up? It's your boy, Incredible Man. And yes, I am back at it again. And I told you guys that I was going to try to get these out to you more frequently. So I'm doing three chapters at a time. And today it is Beastars chapters 101, 102, and 103. And to kick it off, we're doing 101, Condition for Living, Raising a Stray Dog. Let's get it, man. I don't think I do it good. No, I think I do it great. They would do it if they could. They can't do it, so they hate. Everybody want to look, but nobody want to play. Stealing eyes. The Hidden Condo. In a room in this old building. Okay, so they're talking about the building. It's pretty run down. But I mean, hey, it's somewhere to stay. The rent's cheap, so. But, I mean, the town, like that part of town. Let me see where it's at. Oh, the, 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 the city is the train. It's back out of the market. about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's in a, it's not a bad part of town, but it's just in one of the parts of town that's, you know, not well kept up. So, like, it looks a little run down, but it's somewhere to stay. Okay. Seven on the sheep can't sleep in her new home. Da, 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 da. And my neighbors always make a ruckus every night. Da, da, da. Okay. I've got work tomorrow. I can't sleep like this. I'm going to the restroom. I don't see any lights on. So he's making all that ruckus in the dark. Bam, bam. So Legacy sticks his head out from the door. My evidently suspicious neighbor is a total, <laughs> is a total ex-convict and a gray wolf. Well, I mean, he's an ex-convict, but he's not a bad ex-convict. Come on. I'm an adult, aren't I? We've been neighbors for a week now, and I haven't greeted him once. I'm I'm the strange one. Good evening. Look at that picture of Legacy. He's like, what? That's a cool shot, Legacy. That's cool. I, I remember we saw each other at the real estate office. M my name's Sebun, and I'm your neighbor. I'm also a Merino sheep. Why did I tell this ex-convict that I'm a sheep? <laughs> <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I, am I still suicidal? So Legacy just walked off. He just nodded at her and walked off. No words, just a nod. Yep, so he just, just okay, cool. Isn't that just the worst attitude ever? I bet that ex-convict has no friends. No, Legacy has a pretty good, decent amount of friends. I mean, that's what I thought at the time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Legacy! The 701 dogs. Okay, we came to celebrate your new home. You, you guys, why did you why did you have to only tell Jack? That's cool. <laughs> Sorry, Legacy. I had to bring everyone here. Thanks for having us. This room's so small. It's about half the size of our dorm, our room back at the dorm. Yeah, well, one room in this apartment is only six mats, which is 9.918 square meters. I'm kind of overwhelmed that you're that you all came here without telling me. I can barely call this place my, call this my place with how empty it is. I don't mind you all being here, though. Make yourselves comfortable. Yeah, his tail's just a wagon. All right, he's happy. Yeah, his tail's just a wagon. I was real surprised. <clears throat> I was real surprised when I heard that you were quitting school. But we've been living together since middle school, since middle school level. That's five years. We'll always be your friend. Guys, oh, take my palm. Filled with love. Take it even if it's extravagant. Uh, uh. Okay, I don't know the song. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. It's not embarrassing. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll keep coming over from now on. Okay, so then they got a panel saying that uh, Sibun can hear everything that's going on the walls. My neighbor seems to have a lot of friends. They range from friendly to stern. Okay, so we see Jack and we have Going Son. Okay. You ought to call me if you run into trouble, and good luck with finding a job. Thanks. See you. Small room. For you, definitely. <laughs> so we have Going Son, Jack. Then we have Bill and Iova. With a dump like this, it's going to be hard to... <laughs> with a dump like this, it's going to be hard to fuck, to fuck without anyone hearing you. Bill, why, why are you the one that's saying this? Legacy, did you know that Bill's going to be the next head of the drama club next year? What? Why Bill? I mean, he has acting. He has acting talent, so I guess he could do it. I guess. Okay, so uh, uh, I don't want to hear teenage boys talk about vulgar stuff. I'm out of here. <laughs> well, you were the one that was sitting by the wall listening to everything. Really, congratulations, Bill. I'm glad that you're doing okay. I don't want to hear that from a from a high school dropout. Lewis told me to take the position anyway. You heard about Lewis Senpai, right? He confronted Riz at the New Year's at New Year's all by himself and de determined that he was the culprit at the cost of his right foot. 
So this is a cover-up. They got a whole cover-up going on, and Legacy's kept out of it, I guess. I would never have thought that he was the culprit. Yeah, the head was losing his shit. Okay. So that's how the world sees it, huh? I bet Louis Senpai is really annoyed by that. Well, I mean, they got to make it seem semi-decent because if they don't, then you're looking at Legacy's e Legacy eating Lewis's foot, Riz killing another student, and almost killed Legacy. So there's, there's a reason for the cover-up. I feel like a criminal who got away scot-free. I'm the one who ate Lewis Senpai's foot, and these guys don't even know. Well, you, you did it with his permission. That reminds me, dumb senpai. That reminds me, dumb senpai and Pina want to come over to your new place. I can tell them your room number, right? It only takes 30 minutes by train to get here from the school. The legacy's looking like, what? What? No way. You want me to hang out with those herbivores after I quit school? That's, that's effing lame. But we all know the reason why that he has to be like that. So it's understandable that he put up a facade. Okay, so what's your real reason? It's amazing how bad you are at faking. That was so weird. <laughs> they can tell like, because he's not that kind of character. That's not his character. That's not the, the type of person he is. So they they knew that there was no way that that's what he actually meant. You were, you were always a weirdo, but I just don't get why you want to drop out of school. How can you live independently if you haven't even finished high school? Adult carnivores need social ability more than anything, you know? And that's what you're the worst at. Try being friends with your neighbor or something. Uh, well, that's a hard thing in itself because she's a herbivore. He's a carnivore. He has a criminal past. He has a record. Social ability. I can definitely say that's what I'm the worst at. I mean, but he can try, though. I mean, we all know he's a little socially awkward because right now I can't associate myself with herbivores. Calm down. Calm down. Well, this is true. But like she's got, she's got a pretty legacy. You could talk to her, and, and and you know, I ain't. I doubt anybody's gonna tell because I'm. You're in like a part of the city that a lot of people, I'm sure, doesn't come to. I would never justify eating flesh, and especially not flesh from a living animal. My words are reverberating through my body. The first herbivore I touched ever since I ate Louis Senpai's foot was my neighbor, and he pushed her straight off the tray. Right, <laughs> the feel of a herbivore's back made me imagine. What? Huh? Huh? Her taste, her texture, her flavor, her juiciness. Oh, no, he's had... Oh, no. After eating Lewis's foot, just coming in contact with herbivores has... All of this has changed Legacy completely. He's not the same person anymore. Now that I know how meat, how meat tastes like, my body is suffering from meat withdrawal. Oh, man, dude, that is hardcore. Every night, I've been having the same dream. Legacy, eat my right leg. It haunts me. And he, wow, man. I can't take it anymore. This is the day that I'm going to tell him to stop. It's open. How careless. I, I, excuse me. Um, Are you okay? So, she, first of all, you had no right to bust into his room. I know he's making a lot of noise, but that's how you get, that's how, that's how stuff happens. Eek! So Legacy grabs her and he's just looking. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. He's standing over her drooling. He pinned her down to the bed. Oh wow, chick. You should have came in there for one. I need social ability. Simple son. My room doesn't have electricity. How do I fix that? I thought he was breaking down, but he just he just wanted to ask her. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, Nick. Calm down. You're supposed to call the power company and tell them your room number. A power company? Yeah, they can remotely give your room power. Do you have your phone? If you look them up on Zuzel, that is funny to me every time, Zuzel, you can find their phone number. Oh, that's weird. I can feel my appetite going away the more I talk to her. So that's, like, that's his trigger. Like, him talking to someone or a herbivore calms him down and he doesn't really have the urge anymore, right? I'm looking for a part-time job, but I don't know how to look for one. Oh, a part-time job? Uh, well, you can find some city work that's around the train station, or you could go to a job offer website. Uh, are you okay? Uh, oh, absolutely. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. <laughs> My messy new life as a carnivore and meat withdrawal. Call the power company. Find a city. 
find CD work and go to a job offer website. Um, this may be a weird question, but why did you help instead of running away from me? Lam Chan, Lam Chan, could you copy this for me? Because it's been a long time since the carnivore actually called me by my real name, and I'm happy that you did. Oh, wow, that's nice. So then I got to go back. Okay, my messy new life as a carnivore in the meat in in meat withdrawal begins now. Okay, wow. Um, all in all, I kind of enjoyed it. Like it was a very nice, uh, refresh refreshing pace. Um, we just see Legacy in his new environment, trying to adapt a little bit, and we learned that he's kind of going through meat withdrawals. We see um some of the guys from the school actually coming there to chill and hang with him. We see Go and Son. And he actually ends up talking to his neighbor and they kind of build a connection and a bond, a friendship. Now, at this moment, I will say this. Haru acting on some other stuff. I mean, valid because, you know, her and Legacy never really made that right connection. I mean, they had their relationship and everything, but Legacy is awkward. Haru, so there's, so there's so much indifference going on with them. Legacy might hit up Sebu's son. We all know Legacy has a thing for the herbivores. We all know that. So, you know, he may hit up Sebu's son and he's like, Sebu's son, Sebu's son. What's popping? Uh, chapter 102, man. Um, was it fire that made his body black? I, I told you guys I love these chapter titles so much. They're so good. Okay. Mommy milk. Delicious nutrients of full of joy. <laughs> okay. This story takes place at a milk factory. Oh, oh wow. This is going to be good. This is this is going to be good. The personal management bureau is sending over an inspector to check out our Mamai milk factory. Your suppliers are going to smile and have fun today. Are we clear? <sighs> Nicolas son, use your makeup to get rid of your eye bags. Oh, well that's just cold. Your large pupils make them stand out. D y yes sir. I work at a milk factory called Mamai Milk which is currently managed by a bunch of snow leopards. I love the diversity in this, and I often say anime, in this in this manga, man. Paru is such a wonderful person for create, creating such a vast, wide world. There's all kinds of animals, man. Like, oh, oh, such greatness. It's not my fault that I don't get enough sleep. Still, not here. I'll take a look outside. Okay, so she's working at the milk factory. Da -da -da -da. Okay. I work at a milk factory called Mama Mill, which is currently managed by a bunch of snow drivers. The norm here seems to be that cows are the suppliers for the milk and all the other employees are snow leopards. Okay. Even if the work seems a little too hard for us cows to handle, we find ways to support one another. Okay. So then I'm going to go back and read the other parts. Okay. Milking. Nicola, how are you feeling? I'm doing fine. I got more sleep last night. Oh, wow. Look at the machines. They have a tank on the back. Then I have like a little hose connected to like this other machine sitting on the front. And it's just pumping the milk from the udders. They're just sitting down and having a conversation, getting the udders milk. Okay. Even so, ah, it's so much better here without them. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I am. Sorry. It's just the after effects. Is the milking accelerants you need to take a little break? Oh, so there's also a problem if they use them too much or something? Those guys are a bunch of demons. How could they make us take those drugs? Oh, why are they taking drugs? Let's go to the dressing room. I know I got I got dizzy. I get dizzy often. It leads to a lot of sweat. We're all suffering. Those drugs are making you lose sleep, right? Yeah. This is the contract between us cows and the snow leopards. Cows in the in their forties are said to produce milk that's inferior to milk that comes from young cows. Oh wow. Okay. The snow leopards will only hire us if we agree to take debilitating drugs that increase our milk output. Oh, wow. Look at that. You learn something new every day. Like, I, I'm going to be 100%. I didn't know anything about cows and milk because I don't work on a dairy farm. But this is legit. So, like, this is like real life stuff. Like, um, like older cows in real life, like, uh, their milk is kind of inferior to younger cows too, right? Wow. I'm amazed. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm so in love. Okay. They have no shame in treating us like this since they only see us as suppliers. But what really gets me is that I have to suffer because of my pride in my milk. Oh, wow. You're crying? 
Oh, come on, Nicola, son. This is the guy from the PMB. She has chronic hay fever, you see. Sorry to bother you, Inspector. We're really glad you came when you're so these. Nah, what it is, they don't want these people to know that y'all are having these effects and everything from taking these drugs that they're forcing y'all to take. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, see. Well, it's my job to inspect workplaces where carnivores and herbivores work together. Being a civil servant isn't easy, huh? I have a question to ask as a part of my job. Does everyone enjoy working here? No, man, they make us take drugs. Of course, it's a very fair... Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I, uh, It just looked like this zebra came in here and he knew that Snow Leopard was finna lie and he just grabbed him and was... Uh, oh, my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't ask for carnivore's opinion. No, no, he grabbed this man like I don't need. I don't need your input. I'm asking the cows. I'm asking the cows. This milk factory is known to have terrible management, and you're wrong if you think I let you throw your weight around forever. Oh wow, who, who is that guy? He's nothing like the other inspectors. What, 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 what's with you? You're no ordinary inspector. Who me? I'm just a herbivore. And proud of it. No. I know who this is. I know exactly who this is. This is the Beast Star. This is the Beast Star guy. This is the Beast Star guy. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I thought he was a zebra. I thought he was a zebra. This is the Beast Star guy. Uh, uh, I'm just a herbivore and I'm proud of it. So he's taking off all the tape. Herbivore's bodies are renewable resources. So he takes off everything. Let's show these managers how vital how vital we herbivores are, ladies. So he takes and he stands up. Oh, <laughs> this society perseveres because of herbivore's tolerance and also because of me. This man is legit. Look at that. Look at just look at just take it in and just take it in and enjoy this whole photo right here because not photo like this whatever because it's just this whole panel because it's just such a wonderful and he's standing up there so cool and, and, and look at oh yeah I'm the, because of me Yaffa uh, yeah 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 y'all y'all don't want none of y'all Yaffa Yaffa yeah Yaffa 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 I'm gonna go Yaffa. To Sublime Beast Star. This is the first I've ever seen him. So you're Yaffa, the current Beast Star. You're known as a manifested guardian deity who appears out of random places. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I never thought that you would appear here of all places. He doesn't seem to be the gentle animal that I imagined him to be. Oh, my bad. His body doesn't look like a herbivore's body. He doesn't seem to be the gentle animal that I imagined him to be. And he seems to exude the aura of a demon. I'll put the laws of society back in or in their place. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Yafia. Yafasama. Beautiful. The sad truth is that the only only the strong can lead. They have the right to rule regardless if they are carnivore or herbivore. However, the strong must have compassion. You're a snow leopard. You should already know this. What do, What did he do? You're a snow leopard. You should already know this. Like he pulled something. Did he pull his arm off? His leg? So then we go to the huge panel where it's like he swing. There's a swinging motion. Oh, he kicked it. Oh, he lifted his leg up and he kicked the um the tank behind him. Okay, ah, that tank's made of iron, and he put a big old din in it. Did I scare you? This is for, and then he wrote him a check. This is for the tank. This check's good enough for you, right? This is too much. It's no skin off my bones since I'm a beast star, and all I want, and I want you to use the extra money to better these ladies' work conditions. Make it so they don't have to use drugs to have a place in this factory. This man is a boss. Uh, um. The Personnel Management Bureau sent me here, by the way. You ladies must have been suffering a while. Then I'm sorry I couldn't come sooner. Thank you very much. 
Oh my gosh, B stars, the only pillars in this world hope and feel an interspecial conflict. Man, oh man. You know what though? I mean, I don't know if it's possible, but I think Legacy would make a perfect B star. I mean, you know, because he has a record and, you know, he ate a Herbert Ward's foot. And I don't know if that, I don't think that, a, I don't think that's going to go his way. But like, before this could have happened, Legacy would have made a wonderful B star. And I still think he could because he's such a great character. But. I don't know if society would look at him like that because, you know, he ate herbivore's foot. Herbivores and carnivores together in a working environment. Are you okay, sir? Yeah. Why don't we bother? Why, why don't we buy another tank while we're at it? It's the best that they, it's best that they respect each other and get along. That way they can make better milk. Today's mission was a success. This man is a straight hero. This man came here, saved this place. Oh my God. Oh, this man is a boss. Yafia Sama! Yafia Sama! Chapter 103, man. Seeds scatter like rain. Say, Yafia San, what do you like about me? Well, a lot of things. You're short <laughs> and beautiful fur. Your strong legs, your well developed muscles. Hmm, and that beautiful way you run and walk. Hold on a minute. How does that make me different from any other? <laughs> <laughs> How does that make me different from any other horse? <laughs> this man knows just what to say. Don't say too much and don't give away too much. So, you know, okay. Same species, love, is the symbol of peace. Thank you for your time. Take care, all right? Oh, is she a prostitute? too? No, you did. You're leaving already? It's time for work. Get some rings. A beast star ought to be alone. Interspecial love heterosexual love is normal for animals to be attracted to those who are different from them. I mean, we're all attracted to somebody that's different. I mean, you don't want somebody that's the same, right? Whether it's the same race or the same personality or anything. You want something that's just a little different. Even if they are the same race, you want them to be completely different from you. You don't want someone that's the same because then there's no spark there, I guess you could say. I mean, you want something that's a little different. So they're like, oh, well, that's intriguing. You know, there's a little mystery to the fire. But to be devoted, that leads to dis disaster. A leader shouldn't deal with such distractions. That's something That's something I etched into my heart a long time ago. 36 years ago. Okay, so we're going back in time. Thanks to your duties these past six months, Doris District's criminal rate has dropped by 40% 40, 40 amazing. I wonder which, which one of you will become the future beast star. Okay, so that's Yafa Sama and who? 15-year-old herbivore, Yafia Kun, and 17-year-old carnivore, Goshik. Goshakun! Goshakun! Gosha! Gosha! No! No, no, no! Why didn't y'all tell me? Why didn't you tell me? Are they cops? This is cops, right? They're cops, right? Doris District's criminal rate. Yeah! Why didn't y'all tell me? No! Why didn't y'all tell me about Legacy's grandfather? He was a cop? Well, I didn't want to be spoiled either. But still, you could have told me! You're both young aspirants, and I hope you two will continue protecting the townsfolk and continue to be rivals for the Beast Star. And he was in track to become a Beast Star! So is this why you feel someone was like love and, and interspecial relationship and stuff like that? Because of his friend? Oh, oh my gosh. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is this. This. Friendly, friendly rival boys. Friendly rivals boys. Yes, sir. Hey, Yafa. Do you still have those medals he gave us? Hmm? Yeah, I do. Then let's do it at the same time. They're going to chunk it. Screw these. I do it. I do it. We don't need these. Me and Gosha were not competing for the title, for the B-Star title. We wanted to be the B-Stars. Wow. Who does that guy think he is calling us rivals? We're partners and we're going to stay that way, right? Gosha. Okay, so they're just telling us. Gosha is a Komodo dragon, a few words like most reptiles. That's why Legacy's so quiet and, and standoffish and, and, a, and, a, and a little awkward. 
it's the reptilian gene inside of his body. Come on, Rip. Oh, Paru is such a genius. But his eyes were always filled with genuine strength. And I liked his eyes. Let's do some more night patrolling, Yaffa. Huh? But it's three in the morning. Do you even sleep? Busy lives and bad sleeps go hand in hand. Just humor me. I wonder if he's ever going to talk about me. Talk about me. Talk to me about his past. Ha ha. You'll make a nice fur coat. I'll start by pulling out your fangs so you won't bite me. Uh, uh. Is this Legacy's grandmother? Uh, behind you. Huh? <laughs> Heel kick. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's not fair. Lizard poison. Uh, uh, okay, well, if they just straight demolish this man. <laughs> what what we did was the same old routine, but... Uh, um, thank you. When Goshen met that female wolf, they stared at each other eyes for three entire seconds. Well, she was pretty. She was pretty. She was pretty. There's been a strong cold wave for three three to four years now that that's been motivating. Now that that's been motivating a lot of animals to pelt longer than mammals. Wait, what? There's been a strong cold wave for three to four years now, and that's been motivating a lot of animals to pelt longer hair mammals. Okay, 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 I got you now. For a female wolf like you walking around alone in the night is suicide. <sighs> I see. So I was about to become a fur coat then, huh? She seems to be an airhead. <laughs> so that's what, so Legacy takes a lot of traits after his grandparents because she's a, a little bit of an airhead. His grandfather was like awkward and stuff. So Legacy takes a, okay, I see you. Seems that her house is close to mine. I walk her home. I'm kind of worried about her. All right, you do that then. I'll contact you again tomorrow. See you. Okay. So she's looking at him and he's thinking, Hey, you've been staring at me for a long while now. What is it? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I don't have any reptile friends, and this is the first time I've seen one up close. Couldn't help it. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> I knew it was because of my weird looks. Komodo dragons have poison in their mouths. And also, in our, in our large bodies hidden under our scales, to you mammals, we must seem like a bunch of monsters. But your scales are so beautiful. Oh, wow. They're as beautiful as jewels. So we get in a flashback and we see in Legacy's grandparents come together. Oh my God, my heart. Well, you're finally home, so I'll be leaving you. I'll be leaving now. Good night. Don't get carried away, Gosha. It's just a female's idle banter. Females can compliment males so easily, they don't even have, they don't even have to mean it. Then again, she was wagging her tail. Gosha began dating her the next day, and strangely enough, they kept it for a while. They kept at it for a while. A Komodo dragon and a wolf. Now that's just the most incredible interspecial couple I've ever heard of. <laughs> Do you have good chemistry with her? If I didn't, then we wouldn't have been uh, together for the past six months. Well, they say that interspecial love is something to be enjoyed while you're still young. So I think it's fine. So what did you want to talk about? She's pregnant with my baby. Look at that. Look at that. Huh? Whose baby? My baby. But Komodo dragons lay eggs, right? She can't be pregnant. The doctor said it was a miracle. It was a one out of a 500 chance. She's really happy about it. Oh my gosh. I have to support her, but it's probably going to be really dangerous for her to conceive. You're not a, you're not in a position where you can make a family to begin with. I thought I thought we were going to become beast stars, the protectors of our society. I'm stepping down. I did want us to become beast stars so we could fight for peace and coexistence, but now I found coexistence coexistence with someone I treasure more than society. This is where we part ways. Wow. Wow! Slanted eyes, drooping eyebrows, has reptilian blood, 
Your grandson may be a different species, but he sure looks like you, Gosha. <gasps> so he knows that that's Gosha's grandson. Oh my gosh, hands down, hands down, best chapter ever. 103 has just shot up to the rankings along with the others where we found out Riz and all the other stuff in the great episode. It was a, the great stuff that I have and ranked already. Chapter 103 is right up there in the top rankings for me. There's nothing left to say, man. This is Buddy Incredible. Don't forget to smash that like button so you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. Remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life, and manga matters as well because Beast Stars made it so. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have got to stop. Peace out, man.